Raw materials. Let's have a look at this. Ganga, Kaveri and Narmada are three women who buy four raw materials, mango, apple, banana and milk and sell five finished particles. Finished products, not particles. Mango smoothie, apple smoothie, banana smoothie, mixed fruit smoothie and fruit salad. Table 1 gives information about the raw materials required to produce the five finished product. Mango smoothie is mango and apple, uh, banana smoothie is banana and apple, apple smoothie is apple and, sorry, mango and milk, apple and milk, banana and milk. Mixed fruits, smoothies, everything. Mango, apple, banana and milk. And then fruit salad is mango, apple, banana, no milk. All four of them have milk, this one has no milk. This one has everything. One unit of a finished product requires one unit each of the raw materials mentioned in the second column. So to produce one mango smoothie, I need one unit of mango, one unit of milk. One apple smoothie, one unit of apple, one unit of milk. Brilliant. One unit of milk, mango, apple and banana cost 5, 3, 2, 1 each. Milk is 5, mango is 3, apple is 2, banana is 1. Each unit of a finished product, but product is sold for a profit equal to two times the number of raw materials. And I just hate these equations. Profit equal to two times number of units. I want profit in either percentage terms or in rupee terms, not number of units. So I was totally turned off by it. But then it says, for example, apple smoothie is made with two raw materials and will be sold for a profit of rupees four per unit. So it is two times the number of materials, that many rupees, that part is missing. I cannot say profit is two times the number of materials used. Profit cannot be four. Four of what? Is it four percentage? Four rupees, four dollars, four of what? There's a unit mismatch here, but we'll live with it because the explanation is being clear. Leftover raw materials are sold during the last business hour for a loss of one rupee per unit. The amount in rupees received from sales for each woman in each of the four business hours of the day is given in table two. 23, 19, 31, 21, 22, 21, etc, etc, etc. The raw materials left over are sold in the last hour. So this is not just sale, this is sale and leftover. That needs to be sold. Lovely. The following additional facts are known. No one except possibly Ganga sold any mango smoothie, which is one thing. Each woman sold either zero or one unit of any single finished product in any hour. So they don't sell two apple smoothies or two banana smoothies or two fruit salads. Each woman had exactly one unit each of two different raw materials as leftovers. No one had any banana leftover. Each of them had two of the other three. So uh, milk, mango, apple. Milk and mango, mango and apple, milk and apple. Lovely. So the crucial part here is accounting for this money. This is the revenue. So we need to figure out the selling price. We know the cost of each of these. We know the profit so we can find the selling price. Let's first attack that before we do anything else. So milk and mango are five and three each. So cost is five plus three, eight. Milk and apple are five and two each, seven. Milk and banana are 5 and 1, adds up to 6. Apple, mango, banana and milk put together, 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, 11. Mango, apple, banana, 3 plus 2 plus 1, 6. These three products have two raw materials each, a profit of 4, 4, 4. This one has four raw materials, has a profit of 8. This one has three raw materials, a profit of 6. So selling price is 12, 11, 10, 19, 12. 8 plus 4, 7 plus 4, 6 plus 4, 11 plus 8, 6 plus 6. These numbers are super crucial. We will take these numbers and then make all kinds of inferences based on their revenue numbers that we see. And so each unit is prof for profit equal to two times the number of raw materials. This we know. So we can figure this out. The cost going in we know so we can find the selling price. And this is super useful because the moment we see that next table, in the first business hour, you make 23. 23 cannot be bought by, cut by selling only one. 23 among these is 12 plus 11. So it's either smoothie, mango smoothie and apple smoothie, or apple smoothie and fruit salad. In the second hour, Ganga makes 21, it is only 11 plus 10. In the third hour, Ganga makes 29, which is only 19 plus 10. So based on these numbers, we can figure out pretty much exactly what was sold in the first hour, second hour and third hour. 
we still are in trouble with the fourth hour because there's some leftovers and leftover dynamics coming to the picture which is a pain in the neck so we'll come to the leftover dynamic later on but we know that we can figure out exactly what was sold so kaveri in the first hour sold one mixed fruit smoothie kaveri in the second hour this should be 12 plus 10 this plus this or this plus this it couldn't have been 12 plus 10 like this because nobody except ganga possibly makes mango smoothie so in the second hour it should have been fruit salad and banana smoothie 30 should be 19 plus 11 mixed fruit smoothie and an apple smoothie narmada makes 31 19 plus 12 only this 12 not that 12 because only ganga can make mango smoothie 21 is 11 plus 10 apple smoothie and banana smoothie 23 is 11 plus 12 this 11 and this 12 so we can make several inferences quite clearly for almost all of these we want to have some more trouble dealing with this and but we'll come to that later on but each of these numbers more or less gives a unique solution because they can be caught by combining only in some combination 22 cannot be 11 plus 11 because nobody sells two units of something in a given hour so 22 is only 12 plus 10 there's only this for Kaveri and Narmada. The only place where ambiguity can come is this 23 could be 11 plus 12, either these two or this and this. So in the first hour, Ganga definitely sold an apple smoothie. Her second item could have been a mango smoothie or a fruit salad. Both are possible. That's the only thing where we need to be switched on about. The rest kind of fall in place automatically. Brilliant. So the prices 5321, we put them. The selling prices, we have them here. The business R sales units, we have them here. And so now the, 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 the leftover part, we still need to figure out. No one had any banana. Each one had exactly one unit leftover of two raw materials. And leftover raw materials are sold at a loss of one rupee per, per item. I'm going to go to the question straight away. What best can be concluded about the number of units of fruit salad sold in the first hour? In the first hour, so this is 12 plus 11. This is just 19. This is 19 plus 12. This is definitely fruit salad. Because the uh, Narmada cannot sell mango smoothie. Whereas this 12 plus 11, that 12 could have been smoothie or fruit salad. Both 12s are possible. So they're definitely one in. There could be a second one. One or two. That's the answer. The first 12 in Ganga's case, that could have come from mango smoothie or fruit salad. Whereas this is definitely fruit salad. So one or two. Much of the following is necessarily true. Lefto Narmada sold one unit of leftover milk. Kaveri sold one unit of leftover mangoes. Ganga did not sell leftover, leftover. We have got to now crack this leftover part. First of all, each woman had exactly one unit of two different raw materials as leftovers. No one had any banana leftover. So they could have had mango, milk and mango, milk and apple, mango and apple. That's the combination. Leftover raw materials are sold at a loss of one rupee per unit. So if you sell milk and mango, five plus three is eight, you get six rupees. If you sell mango plus apple, 3 plus 2 is 5, you get 3 rupees. If you take milk and apple, 5 plus 2 is 7, you get 5 rupees. So your realization from selling leftovers is either 5, 3 or 6. 5, 3 or 6. Depending on what combo you're selling. And so 5, 3 or 6. So in the last hour, each of them could have got minus 5, minus 3 or minus 6 than this or no leftovers and that could be the number itself and so minus 5 minus 3 minus 6 minus 5 minus 3 minus 6 each woman had exactly one unit of each of this so there's no possibility of no leftover so from each of these this could be subtracted for realizing how much they sold from the smoothies the remaining coming from the leftover numbers so this 30 could have been 25 plus 5. It could have been 27 plus 3. It could have been 24 plus 6. This 27 could have been 22 plus 5. 24 plus 3. 21 plus 6. And so on. And 
So let's drill down and then say, hey, option one, 25 plus five, 27 plus three, this is 24 plus six. So what is the left over here? This plus five, plus five is effectively milk and apple. Milk and apple is plus five. Mango and apple is plus three. So this is plus three. So milk plus apple, mango plus apple. This will be milk and mango. Plus six. Now this is very interesting because now we have to say total revenue in the last hour apart from leftovers is 25. Now 25 cannot be brought in any combination. 12 plus 11 is 23, 10, 19 is not possible, 10 plus 15 is not possible, so this is out. 27 can we get? No, we can't get 27 either. 27 is also out. 12 plus 15 is not available, 11 plus 16 is not available, 10 plus 17 is not available, 19 plus 8 is not available, dead. 24 is possible, 12 plus 12. So Ganga definitely sold one mango smoothie and one fruit salad in the final hour and finally had milk and mango remaining sold that for six to generate this 30. That 30 can be obtained only as 12 plus 12 plus 6. Now let's go to Kaveri. 22 is possible 12 plus 10. 24 12 plus 12 no no 12 plus 12 is not possible because mango smoothie she cannot sell. So 21 is 11 plus 10 that's also possible. Number 17 is not possible, 16 is not possible, 19. Brilliant. So, Narmada has sold one mixed fruit smoothie and has had mango and apple left over for the last hour. Uh, Ganga has sold one mango smoothie and one fruit salad in the last hour and then had milk and mango left over. Kaveri, we don't know, there are two possibilities. 12 plus 10 could be fruit salad plus banana smoothie. 12 plus 11 could be banana smoothie and apple smoothie. And then correspondingly something left over. So let's look at this. Narmada sold one unit of leftover milk. Narmada sold left, her leftover is mango and apple, not milk. This is not true. Kaveri sold one unit of leftover mangoes, not required. She could have sold this milk plus apple. Not, not, not necessary, not necessarily true. Ganga did not sell any leftover apples. Ganga sold milk and mangoes leftover. This is true. Ganga did not sell any leftover mangoes. No, no, she did sell leftover mangoes. So choice C is true. A and D are definitely not true. B need not be true. C is necessarily true. That's the answer we're looking for. What best can be concluded about the total units of milk the three women had in the beginning? And so, right at the beginning, what do they have? So it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant question. It takes a lot of time, but let's go step by step. 23 plus 11, 23, let's go one by one. 23 is 11 plus 12. This is definitely a one unit of milk. Whereas mango smoothie or fruit salad may or may not be there. So it is one or two. 21 is 11 plus 10, that is 2. 29 is 19 plus 10, that is 2. 30 is 24 plus 6. 24 is 12 plus 12 plus 6. 12 is smoothie, that is 1. And then what does she throw away? She has left over 1 milk and 1 mango. So in left over, there is 1 unit of milk. And so this could be you know, erased just like this, 1 or 2. Lovely. Now let's move to Kaveri. Kaveri made a mixed fruit smoothie, one. Then she made 12 plus 10 banana smoothie and fruit salad, one. Then in R3, she made mixed fruit smoothie plus apple smoothie, two. In the final R, she might have sold this or this. 22 is 12 plus 10. In which case she would have had one banana smoothie, one. 21 is 11 plus 10 or two. Both are possible. And finally, 
what does she what does she have left over either milk and apple or milk and mango so one milk definitely left over that is sitting here narmada 9 31 is 19 plus 12 so that is one unit 21 is 11 plus 10 that is two units 23 is 11 plus 12 that is one unit 22 comes as 19 which is one unit what does she have left over mango plus apple no milk left over we add all of this up 1 plus 1 2 4 6 7 or 8 and all of this up 1 plus 1 2 4 5 6 6 or 7 and this is 1 3 4 5 7 6 5 is 18 and then it could be one more or two more 18 19 or 20 absolutely brilliant question super challenging Uh, the dynamics change based on whether the the the, the two uh, kind of joker in the pack. One is the first thing, the twelve bucks could have been from mango smoothie or from fruit salad. That we need to keep in mind. And the second mixture, second thing that we need to worry about. We are in R four. Did Kaveri go for this twelve plus ten or eleven plus ten? At the other place where the variance can come. So eighteen, nineteen, or twenty. It is known that leftover units of mangoes were sold during the last three leftover units of mangoes were sold during the last business hour of the day. How many apple smoothies were sold during the day? Three leftover mangoes. So this is milk per mango that we know. This is mango and apple that we know. Kaveri should have also sold milk plus mango. So her last hour should have been twenty one actual sale. So I'm going to modify this, make this as twenty one. Make this is twenty four. Make this is nineteen. We want to find out how many apple smoothies were there. Apple smoothie is eleven, so there's definitely one apple smoothie here. Eleven plus twelve, one apple smoothie here. Eleven plus ten. This is nineteen plus ten. No apple smoothie. Twelve plus twelve. No apple smoothie. None here. None here. Nineteen. No apple smoothie. Twenty two is ten plus twelve. No apple smoothie. Thirty is nineteen plus eleven, one apple smoothie. Twenty-one in the last hour is ten plus eleven, one more apple smoothie. Thirty-one is nineteen plus twelve, no apple smoothie. Twenty-one is ten plus eleven, one more apple smoothie is a massive hit. Twenty-three is eleven plus twelve, one more. Nineteen is just a mixed fruit smoothie that we won't count. Two plus two plus two, six apple smoothies were totally sold. Six rupee eleven units. Hush.